Hello. Welcome to D.L. Howard Art. I'm going to do a painting today that I've already kind of sketched out on this um, paper. And instead of doing a masking or um, like rubber cement or masking fluid of some sort, I just went ahead and used some tape. And it should work just fine. I just want to block out this out because I'm going to do some red and white. This is going to be a lighthouse. And I want to make sure that those are very crisp and clear. So I want to make sure I'm, I'm doing this off of a, a plain white background. The rest of it I'm going to do, um, if this is going to be just the sky and then a, a field of green with just some different um, shades of green in here and some brush strokes to kind of indicate some depth. So basically I'm just going to go ahead and do, um, I'm going to go ahead and do this and then I'll pull off the tape and then we'll do the lighthouse last. So I'm not worried about blocking out these areas here because I'm going to go ahead and do such a a light work there that I'm not I'm not worried about because I just want the sky above that so from here down I'll work with these items and then I know I can cover the blue sky with the green here so I'm not worried about that I do have a little bit of a water bottle with me because I want to make sure that um, the sky is very blended and so I'm gonna use some blue and just kind of go in with some streaks and then um, kind of fan it out so I'm gonna use a lot of water hopefully my paper can withhold this is a, a decent size weight paper so it should be able to withstand some of the water that I put on it so let's get started um, I'm gonna do a couple different um, brushes I had one out earlier okay. this one this is my my groom rocker groom rocker I can't say it and we're gonna do a very light blue and I'm really want to water this down because I want to just get the whole sky. And this is where I'm going to take my water and just kind of spritz that and really let that paint just kind of fade. And as you can see, as I'm doing this, wherever there was a, a darker area, and it's kind of lightening up. That's great. I want it to do that. And I'm just going to kind of find these little areas that are going to be white and just kind of mark them out and I have a little sketch line you can kind of see it looks like I've got some uh, remnant color on here but anyway I'm just going to kind of work with it and uh, let it do its thing just trying to check the light actually I like how it's doing that good so other side and I'll get some of that wet and bring some of that color in over here this guy is going to come together really fast which is great for me my attention span and my knee pain can't handle much more than that so and just kind of out some of the areas that it wants to lighten and areas that wants to be dark I'll just leave it the sky has a multitude of different areas and so I can just go in and pick up anything that's still there color wise and blot it out and then what I'm gonna do is any area that is left I'm gonna kind of use as a the darker outlines where I want a little bit more a little darker blue and I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this brush again and I'm gonna take this uh, it's like a darker blue and it, it's very pretty um, we're just gonna kind of I want to preserve some of this color here and blend some of that out and I'm just gonna kind of put these in little spots here and I'm gonna take my little soft brush here and while that's still wet quickly kind of blot those in just like that and anywhere there's a little bit of dark or gray I'm going to monopolize that area and enhance it since this is watercolor I do need to work fast it'll dry quickly but I love the effect of what I've um, been able to accomplish in these 
with using this little bit of technique here. It's how I work with the watercolors. And I'm just going to kind of go around this. And a little dab of... There we go. Just like that. And I'm just softening that. Okay. I want a little bit darker up in here. So I'm going to go with a little bit of a different blue. And I'm just going to carefully kind of go in here. And I'm probably going to need a little bit more water. Just like that. And spread it out. And I just do little circle motions here with my soft brush. Just like that. And again, a little bit over here. And just kind of fading it out a little bit. Get a little bit more water, and I'm just going to kind of brush these in. And again, circle motions. Just like that. And a little bit darker there. So uh, this one, I'm going to get that color out a little bit. Nice. Okay, and I liked that effect, so I'm going to kind of keep it going a little bit right there. And just wet that a little bit more, just like that. Perfect. And I just keep working that area until it softens out. Oops. So working two brushes at the same time I found to be a lot more effective with what I'm trying to do. I have a loaded brush full of a darker color and then a light brush that has pretty much no color in it and no moisture. So I'm just going to try and bring some of that color in. and. Time I'm going to get that a little bit wetter. Yeah, a little too much collection of color in this area, so I'm going to kind of lift it out. Nice. Okay, that's all I want to do here, I think. Good. Just going to soften that here. There's a little bit of an area that I want it to stay a little dark, so I'm going to tap in a little bit of that blue color again, and just soften it just a teeny bit, bringing it down, have a little bit come up this way, Ew. we're going to let that kind of come up a little bit more here. Get some more color in there. Fix that. <laughs> okay, good. A little bit up here. And I'm just looking for little moments of depth here. And that looks pretty good. And also here. Like that too. And I really like that one spot there. I'm going to leave it. like that. A little bit darker here. Hide some of those earlier sketch marks that I didn't end up using. And just like that. Make sure it doesn't go down in there. Okay. 
I like that. All right, good deal. I think I'm gonna leave it just like that. And then let's see if I can get my picture up again. Okay, so I'm gonna let the sky dry a little bit here. And then I'm gonna add in, um, let's get that out. I'm gonna do um, the bottom here with the green. And I'm gonna start out with a light green. Uh, I'm just gonna mix these up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I'm kind of mixing a, uh, like a Kelly green, just some mixture of these colors here. I'm gonna try and push it up because I want the darker up here. Okay. I can go back in with a little bit darker green up here. And mix that in. want this background color. I'm not too concerned about the um, there we go. I'm going to go in and stipple a little bit of a so I'm taking this dark and I'm just kind of letting a texture kind of guide its way and I'm going to use that um, brush that we had earlier when I'm going to get some darker kind of the darker up areas up here and there is a little bit of a brush line here so I'm gonna let that be just by doing this alone kind of takes care of the grass for me and Gonna load that brush up a little bit and as I come down I'm gonna get more of this uh, uh, lighter green here not so much this darker one that's in the back as I come forward into the foreground looking good I'm getting some yellow in here now as I get closer to the front. This is where I really regret mixing my brushes. I have to clean them out and spray it with a paper towel and make sure that I get all of the uh, paints that I've mixed up in the palette separated. Pain in the butt. Okay, work that. Good, good, good. So I'm going to end up using a smaller, um, probably a, a liner brush like this. And with these uh, darker areas, I'm going to go out. This is where that brush is going to be. And just kind of stippling up a little bit in here. And so there's a little bit of a house here and then there's a, the tree is right here. So the tree I'm gonna go ahead and do in this darker. And then I'm gonna kinda have some brush that are coming up through here. I might need to borrow some of this black. some brush over here and just adding a little bit of this this teeny tiny little smudge of black for some depth up in in the brush up here and helps kind of give that line of where everything was at okay And 
I'm just going to kind of let that I'm going to make it a little bit of a more pronounced dark line now since it's further away and I just kind of brush these down just like that so I'm pulling the color down blending that in this is kind of like a little little valley tapering off in the back I can use these in a, like a little bit of a, some depth to the field here. I'm gonna have to go in and do a little bit of work on, I'm gonna put some white in this tree. There you go, and Try to make it a little bit darker in the middle here. Okay. Excellent. All right. And I think what I'm going to do is this is where I'm going to add the, uh, there is a little bit of a gray. I'm going to actually try and use some of this blue. A little kind of making a little gray kind of areas for this roof just to kind of give it a hint of something kind of hanging out around here and uh, then I'm gonna add a little bit of a actually there's some white here for this building I'm just gonna put that in there There's a little bit of a, a white over here as well. So I'm going to stick that in here and then this one here. And each one of these has a little window. And since I've already got this black. Make it a little bit darker over here. And I'm going to pull off some of that white from the bottom. So I'm just taking out some of that black. It was pretty stark, so I just want a little subtle, just like that. And so this side is going to be um, a little bit of a gray. And we'll just kind of hint around at some stuff over there. Not in the grass, though. Okay, and a little hint of that. And there we go. Just like that, just something. All right, so now we're gonna take this off. And I tape this in so many sections, so. So, I'm going to take a liner brush and I'm going to add the red first. I think I'm going to do this really dark. Okay, first we're going to come up to the top here and 
pink. There, I think I know that, that, that'll be good. So I'm going to go here. Since this is very small, I'm having to be quiet. I end up holding my breath on these two. Okay, perfect. So this one is actually gonna be a little darker and I'm gonna try and do the line first. Okay, then I'm gonna go back to the lighter red. will be red. I am trying to be so careful because once it's <laughs> it's not easy to get off. So I want my red to stay exactly where I put it. And so far, it is cooperating with me. But this is definitely delicate work. Great. Okay. And then the last one's down here, so... You'd think a little lighthouse like this wouldn't be so dang challenging, but it is. I'm just tapping a little bit of water in there. A little bit more paint in that. I'm going to fix this area down here with a little bit of brush. Okay, now being that there is a distinct shadow on the side, there should be a little bit of a darker area. So I'm trying to pick up a little bit of this uh, darker red. I'm going to rinse this out.
and just get a little bit of shadow on this side. put a little perfect now I don't want any chance of any cross colors on that so I'm going to go ahead and change um, this to a lighter brush and then we're gonna go in and do and as you can see I've already uh, I've got everything laid out I just noticed that one spot I have missed so I'm going to fix that before, um, even though I've already signed it, I usually don't do this, but um, I'm going to go ahead and take my slanted brush, um, this one, and load it up with this dark green, and I'm going to just kind of tap up here. I'm just giving my the, the brush, the trees, a little bit more depth in here. And of course down by the lighthouse as well. Okay. I think I'm really happy actually with this, so I'm gonna go ahead and call it good. Thank you so much for watching. And again, I'd like to thank my friend Nathan for a wonderfully inspiring photo. Thank you so much. And I thank all my followers for watching. Make sure you uh, like and subscribe and follow and all that stuff that you're supposed to do. And let's take it off. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.